What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with Grammy Award winning duo, The Chainsmokers. We were just like, can we have some of those? Yeah. <laughs> and we bought, we got like, took we got all, all of them. All like, of them. Hey. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. You're gonna see what they're feeling, what they're not, and then hopefully they're gonna buy some sneakers. Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> Let's go. Alex, I wanna start with you. Going to NYU, back in the day, there was a lot of stores in that area. Do you yeah. remember shopping for shoes back then? I mean, I, I remember my friend shopping for shoes. I didn't have enough money to really <laughs> get into the Jordan ones, but mm -hmm. those were definitely like one of my favorite pairs of shoes. And I remember my friend Cook uh, would like buy and sell sneakers to Fly Club, and he would like make all this cash, and yeah. I was so jealous of him. Obviously now, things have worked out for us. So now I've got yeah. four pairs. <laughs> nice. And you yeah. know, Jordan 1s is yeah. your thing, the breads, and yeah. I saw you in Shattered Backboards. Yeah. What's it about them that you like? I study art history, and I'm a big colorway guy, and mm -hmm. I think like there's something about the white and the negative space that makes them really like cool shoes. You can wear them with anything. You can wear them with suits. You can wear them with casual wear. Yeah. Um, I sometimes work out in them. I know that's like stuck. Really, just Jordan probably. ones work out. Well, like you know when you we were just talking about this when you pack for a trip and yeah. you only have limited space and you're like I can technically work out in these shoes and yeah. still look cool at night in them. You know, and, <laughs> right. when you only have room for like one pair of shoes. Uh, so, and you know, and they're just the classic shoes. I, I remember actually like the first Jordan ones I ever bought was I was in seventh grade on the JV basketball team. And I bought like the you yellow and black ones. You told me you were in varsity, man. Not six, no, that's was sixth grade. Sixth grade. So seventh grade seventh, JV. Seventh grade. Yeah, if you were like junior year, I was JV. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, weird, I was varsity after ninth grade. Okay. Uh, and, Truth uh, comes out. Man. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they were like terrible shoes to actually put ball in, so I have so much respect for Jordan. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> like, yeah, the art like, support is not there. I mean, that was my first experience with them. And I remember my friends were like, you know, like that was like to me the start of this the sneaker craze, like Definitely. the penny hardaways. Yeah. Like my I made my dad wait outside for like hours for Crazy. those shoes. Those um, were classic. Yeah, classics. One thing that I like about you guys, you wear general release vans and Chuck Taylors, but then also you'll wear like a Fear of God vans that's going for over $1,000. That what when, they go for? Yeah. Yeah, these are seven fifteen to $1,500. I didn't know that. <laughs> we, and, have, you beat, I, and you guys beat them up. Yeah. Yeah. Them <laughs> yeah. We have a couple pairs of those. I've, I, I have both of these. You warm to death. They're destroyed. That's probably like my favorite collab, yeah. I would say. That's like, that, they killed it. Yeah. It's just really tasteful. I mean, we wear so many vans and vans has been super cool and hooked us up with like you should see when my boxes shoe box, just show up there's just like vans everywhere and we wear them all the time and uh, we went through like a heavy phase where i think we like only wore vans for like six months or something i mean they're just great shoes all around and then another iconic silhouette the chuck taylors you guys wear a lot but all then the you also like throw in the off-white yeah, I got two pairs of these. We got really lucky. Um, I got one I'm trashing and one that I'm like Same being thing. careful with. I'm like, yeah. I gotta start, stop like disrespecting some of these shoes. Yeah. But I didn't know they were like, their their warehouse was in Massachusetts. <laughs> Is yeah. that true? Converse. Yeah, Converse, that true? Um, Converse headquarters, yeah. They're just a great shoe all around. Like we were saying before, you can wear them with everything. I mean, my favorite club now is like these, the JW Jay, Andersons yeah. are awesome. Uh, these ones are cool, but they also have the black and green sparkly ones, mm -hmm. which are so sick. I wear those all the time. The whole story of Converse is pretty cool recently, like having them being, was it like bought out by Nike, I think it was? Yes, Nike. Owns and then them. like, what a genius move again on Nike's part to do that. And yeah. then like, I don't think they were ever like out of style, but like they really like brought them back in a major way. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Seen pictures, both you guys fans of the Adidas Boost. And what do you think about like a shoe like that? It's actually looks good with jeans, but it is functional as well. There was a phase where we wore boosted for a while too. Yeah. Dude, that was a very like new looking athletic shoe. Definitely. I'm personally a big fan of the NMDs. Right. Those are like, just cause it's a flatter shoe. Yeah. This whole like curve, kind of like the slipper look, like I just, I don't know. It a looks like a much. little like elf shoe. Feels like that of. a little yeah, bit, right? Sometimes. Really. I remember we went to, we were invited to like the Adidas store somewhere in LA. Mm -hmm. It was like our first time being invited to anything <laughs> really, uh, to get stuff. And it was kind of like a kid in a candy store, and they had yeah. the booths there, and, and we were just like, "Can we have some of those?" Yeah. And we bought, we got like, took we a got all of them, all of them, and yeah. it was like a solid year of just like NMD cycling and everything. <laughs> uh, and that was really cool of them yeah. to do. So thank you. Yeah, for shout that. out to Adidas. Yeah. You have a pair of the off-white yeah. Prestos. How'd you obtain those? I think that was a Christmas gift I got, and I was so psyched. I think you got like the Uptown ones. Uh, the Air Force yeah, ones you got, right? Yeah, I got the, the Air Force yeah. ones, yeah, yeah. Oh, I destroyed those. Yeah. <laughs> and then I lost them, fuck. But I, and those are $2,400, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, personally though, I don't know if this will offend people, but like... At least you left the tag on, right? Yeah, I left the tag on. <laughs> well, yeah, I was I just gonna say, I feel like this this might just offend people, but like, yo, you gotta take the tag off. These shoes. That's personal. It's a big opinion. debate. That's my personal opinion. You gotta take it off. It's not that it looks stupid or anything. It just doesn't serve the purpose of Drew, the shoe. Drew, did you leave the tag on or you, or you took it off? Um, I left, I mean, for those, I left the tag on. Um, but like for the, the all the Converse ones I get, I take it. But yeah. they put on the laces too, so you just take it off. Yeah. But like that's like a safety hazard, and I like run around and jump on shit and like. And I think it looks cool. Like I love the concept of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't think you like get the shoe and take it off right away. And I definitely did have photos of me wearing it with it still on. But right. like it like dawned on me one day, and it was like, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? It was like yeah. it's split. Some people are like, oh, it looks cool, and then some people just are like, yo, yeah. that has to come. And off I think right if you're now. like reselling your shoes or like that type of person, mm -hmm. like there's nothing wrong with it. like you take a lot of pride in like. The, the original sneaker, mm -hmm. then like sure, keep do it. But like, I think for the everyday person, like if you're trying to flex in it, like just take it off. It's yeah. cool. We're all gonna recognize, you know what I mean, that you have a special shoe on. But the real flex is beating up twenty four hundred dollar Air Force Ones. Weird flex, flex, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Weird flex, but okay. You should like cut to a video of Drew just like throwing it on the ground, <laughs> just like. Yeah. Well, we talked about everything now. The yeah. easy part for you guys: get the browser shell, see what you're gonna take home. Totally. All of it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna t I gotta have these. I'm a creature of habit, and I feel like these are just simple and awesome. Yeah, it's, it's like an elevated classic. All right, I think it's time I get my first pair of Jordans. You got this, man. You got this, right? <laughs> You're right. Uh, it's think, a tough decision. I think it's gotta be these. Oh, this, these is hard. Yeah. I'm gonna go with these. These nice Ooh, little pattern right. leather jump-offs right here. I feel like I'll wear these, but we're not nominated for any Grammys this year, but <laughs> next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear these. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's okay. up, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's see what you got here. Boom. I'm, I'm gonna boom. say 3126. I'm gonna say 3240. Okay. All right, let's see who got it. All right. It's free if we get it, right? That's the fight. <laughs> I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the total is 3219. Ooh, 29. Wow, you were right on my yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. There you go. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> And one more, because you guys like to shop. Yeah, right. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank All right, you guys. see you guys later. Have a good one. Cheers. So, the chain smokers came through, got some great pickups. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. No doubt. This is rad. Make sure you check out Sick Boy, available on all platforms right now. <laughs>